assalamu alaikum uh, this is uh, presentation for explanation of uh, parallel circuit which was discussed in uh, previous class so we have a circuit here with three resistors connected in parallel as you can see uh, from the battery the flow of current if you follow the electron theory it's going to go like this and divide at these nodes and return back and if you use the conventional current then it's going to go like that but whatever is the case the current is dividing in this circuit so it's a parallel circuit okay we have characteristics which we were dis which we have discussed uh, in the previous online class these are the three characteristics total resistance is equals to sum of individual reciprocal of individual resistances total voltage is equal to sum of individual voltages and in parallel circuit voltage remains same okay to solve this for resistance current and voltage we are going to again use the ohms law v is equals to ir shown here and uh, we are going to have different variation we did as we did in the series circuit solution so let's continue with it all right we have total resistance of 60 volts and r1 17 ohms r2 12 volts 12 ohms r1 17 ohms r2 12 ohms and r3 is 11 ohms we need to first calculate rt and for that we have this formula which we are going to use all right so 1 upon rt is equals to 1 upon r1 which is 17 ohms plus 1 upon r2 which is 12 ohms and 1 upon r3 which is 11 ohms so after you solving it on calculator we can see that it's about it's 0.233 taking inverse of it that's reciprocal of this one upon 0 0.233 so rt will be so one upon rt is equals to 0.233 and we will take the reciprocal of it so it is going to be RT is equals to 1 divided by 0 0.233 so RT will be equal to 1 divided by 0 0.233 233 which is equal to let's do it on the calculator it's equal to 4.29 ohms so the total resistance for this parallel circuit is 4.29 ohms so we are going to put it here we're going to write it here that's RT let me do it it's 4.29 ohms that is the total resistance of the circuit now similarly we can go and calculate the individual total current by using the ohms law and then we can go and find out the individual currents okay we have uh, v is equals to ir the ohms law and i is equals to v upon r just put the value of uh, vt divided by rt which is 60 volts vt which was in the given data and 4.29 ohms which was calculated by us and we are going to get the total of it which is going to be 13.9 amperes 13.9 amperes so i1 is equals to v1 upon r1 in parallel circuit we know that it's the same voltage remains same so i vt is equals to v1 is equals to v2 is equals to v3 is equals to 
60 volts so 60 divided by 17 makes it 3.5 amperes i2 will be 60 divided by 12 and now it's 11 ampere uh, sorry it's 5 amperes and i3 will be 60 divided by 11 ohms and it is 5.4 amperes if you add them up you are going to get 13.9 so this is the verification step and we have completed